What is up everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Mike, I'm a full-time media seller. I mainly sell on Amazon, a little bit of eBay. Go around to thrift stores like today, scan everything on my little Bluetooth scanner. The phone app Scoutly tells you whether or not it is profitable. We are outside of Blue Mountain. It's a privately owned thrift store and they have a lot of books in this place. So I believe last time I was here, their pricing's like, they're $2, but they're five for five. So you gotta find books in multiples of five. So you get your money's worth, right? You don't wanna spend two bucks when you can only spend a dollar. So we'll see how that works out for us in today's video. So the topic today is <clears throat> basically, you have to do this one thing or you're not gonna get results, right? So after we get in here and we do the wrap up, I'll talk about that one thing. It's the most important thing, honestly. If you don't do it, then you ain't even gonna have a business, right? So if you're interested in being around like-minded people, join the YouTube channel, 299, tax write-off, weekly Zoom calls, private Discord, tons of great information over there as well. Thankfully, there is a Lowe's next to this thrift store because I need some more uh, 16 by 12 by 12 boxes so I can send stuff into Amazon. I'm gonna shut up while I'm in there. You guys will see my Scoutly screen on the screen. My Scoutly screen on the screen. I'm telling you, whoever writes these scripts for these episodes, I mean, they're terrible, right? I think it just, just rolls off the tongue, right? Screen on screen, screen on screen. Anyways, it is like 90 degrees out. It is what it is, right? I mean, listen, I don't like the cold weather. Some of you, you know, Michiganers, you know, like Tommy Boy, you don't mind the cold. I hate the cold, so I'm shutting up. Let's get in here. Hopefully the air conditioner's on or I'm gonna cry like a little baby and leave right away. No, I won't. Let's go. We are back at the storage unit from Blue Mountain Thrift Store. I'll tell you what, when I first started this business many, many years ago, that thrift store used to be so good. They used to have a nice book lady. Everything was organized. You guys seen how much stuff they have, right? Their books, their DVDs, their CDs. Um, unfortunately, the quality is just junk anymore. So. Uh, kind of, you know, the one thing you have to do if you want to make it in this business is you have to scan everything, right? So I probably spent about an hour and a half there scanning. And I mean, I was scanning the crap out of these shelves because I'm thinking to myself, well, is it just, you know, they're not getting stuff or are they scanning stuff in the back? You know, like what's going on, right? So I, I made it a point to scan basically everything besides, you know, your crappy fiction and your cookbooks that you know are just junk and i got five books and nothing exciting i mean the best one we got here was this north carolina bird watching and i think it was only like 15 bucks profit uh these are much lower profit but they were faster moving actually i only got four i got one for deb so um what are you gonna do right you gotta scan everything. You can't say this business doesn't work if you don't give it an honest shot. You can't walk into thrift stores, pick and choose what you wanna scan. You have to get in there, you have to scan everything. You have to understand what's going on at that specific store. So for me, I probably wasn't to that store for over a month. And the fact that I only got four books out of you know the 2000 they had, it's a huge red flag. They're either scanning stuff or they're not getting any donations because it doesn't make sense. Because if I go right down the road, to the Goodwill or the Jubilee, they have profitable books in there, profitable 
DVDs, CDs. The stuff in that place is just junk, 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 junk. The There must be new ownership or something as well because the old book lady quit because I used to talk to her when she worked there. Everything had a spot. Everything was organized by genre. So they still have the genre like on the shelves, but it's not in order. So the new book person is just throwing books out wherever. Now they started putting like a, a date sticker over the barcodes as well. So you can't even scan the stuff. It's a nightmare. I'm not going back there probably for at least two months. Um, I have zero expectations. It might as well be for how much stuff they have. It's my worst thrift store, honestly, for the quantity they have in there and the little bit I got. It's just not worth it. But I did save the day. So I decided to walk around and I'll show you guys what saved the day here. We have a nice little vcr dvd combo can i'm going to sell this fba right so you're probably thinking how are you going to sell something like this fba well i'm going to bubble wrap the crap out of this put it in a box put sold a set do not separate multiple f and skew labels on the outside of the box send it in the amazon and it'll sell right so believe it or not fba the lowest price is 199.99 so we paid 10 bucks for it and those are the little stickers that were covering the barcodes, like I said. It doesn't cover the whole barcode, but the way they were putting them, it puts a whole line down without the barcode so you can't scan it. So this is gonna go FBA. And uh, after fees and our buy costs, we'll make around 120 bucks. Now, fair warning, before you all go out there run into your, your local old electronic shop, it came with everything, right? So it's got the cables, it's got the remote. Do not do this if it does not have the remote or the cables, right? And uh, shout out to Tommy Boy in the group. This is basically, you know, he crushes it with electronics like this. And one thing he always says is make sure you have the remote, make sure you got the coax cables, make sure you got everything that goes with it. Because think about it, Amazon, it's the easiest platform to get returns. If somebody buys a VCR DVD player, they're gonna expect it to have a remote even if it's used. And it's the same on eBay, right? You know if you have a remote and you sell this on eBay, you're gonna get like an extra 30 bucks compared to the people that don't. So if you're gonna sell this kind of stuff on Amazon, make sure it has a remote, make sure it's tested, make sure it works. Sure, you know, if you run into it, it gets returned, damaged, whatever. You're only into it for 10 bucks, but the upside of 120 is definitely worth it. So I would not have picked that up if it didn't have the remote and the cables with it. Um, Maybe if it didn't have the cables, because you can find these cheap cables in any thrift store for like 50 cents. But the remote is a non-negotiable. It has to have the remote every single time. So that's going to do it. What can I say? I wasted two hours of my day in that thrift store scanning everything. Oh, my God. The books were atrocious. And I said, oh, maybe the DVDs and CDs will be a little bit better. They were just as bad. I mean, it is it is garbage in there and <laughs> so i found a blu-ray right so i'm like all right well, what's the price of the blu-ray so they actually have it spelled out as blue like the color blue so i'm glad i'm not the only person out there that really you know is illiterate with certain things because you know b l u e ray i mean i got a giggle out of that they wanted four bucks for a blu-ray i mean come on like that's worse than goodwill basically it's it's a small sh it's this locally owned small thrift shop they got all new employees. I don't know. It had to be. I don't know. Something's going on. Change of management. All the people suck. It is what it is. I will see you guys in the next used book video. Bye-bye.